Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to uh, Name Tech Channel. My name is Nehemiah. And uh, guys, uh, today we are going to introduce uh, Python. It's going to be a very, very long series. Uh, but uh, in this first video, I just want us to introduce uh, Python. And also we shall install Python. And uh, also we shall install the integrated development environment for Python. And also we shall talk about uh, the basic uh, Python syntax and also comments. And I guess uh, before we get started, uh, if it's your first time, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and I like the video, I appreciate it, kabisa kabisa. Uh, Python is one of the most, you know, uh, popular programming language and uh, Python can be used uh, on a server to create a web application and uh, it can also be used alongside the software to create workflows. And uh, Python also can be connected to database system and so which means it can also read and uh, modify files and uh, Python can be used also to handle big data and uh, perform uh, complex uh, mathematics. And uh, also Python uh, can be used for rapid you know, prototyping or for producing ready uh, software development. And I guess I like Python because uh, you know, it can be run, uh, it can work on different uh, platforms like a window, Windows, a Mac, Linux, Raspberry, PI, etc. And uh, Python has a simple syntax similar uh, to the English language. You know, it's just very, very easy to understand. And again, uh, Python runs on an interpreter system, meaning uh, that a code can be executed as soon as it is written. Uh, this means that uh, prototyping can be very, very quick. And again, uh, the reason I like Python also, uh, it can be treated in a procedural way. It can also be treated in an object-oriented way and also a functional way and I guess uh, basically this is what we are going to cover in this series uh, basically we shall talk about uh, the Python basics of which uh, in this basics we shall talk about the syntax you know variables uh, strings operators you know uh, booleans and uh, name it and then also we shall talk about uh, the Python file handling and then we shall talk about uh, Python modules and then I guess we shall also have a very, very serious, you know, discussion on system administration. And then I shall talk about also uh, Python MySQL. And then we shall talk about also a uh, Python Mongo database. And I guess I shall also teach you, uh, uh, you know, Django, Django, basically on web development and uh, APIs. And I guess uh, by the way, do you know that uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram and uh, Pinterest were developed with their Python? So uh, Python is just you know a cool language to learn, and then I guess uh, on the projects also we shall develop our own uh, software, and then I guess we shall also try to solve uh, complicated uh, mathematics with uh, Python, and uh, we shall finish with the script uh, with, with the system scripting. And I guess I want us to install uh, Python here in this video. I want us to install Python, and then uh, later we shall install uh, the text editor of which we shall use uh, PyCharm as the integrated development environment for Python, the IDE for Python. And so guys, uh, straight away, let's go to our browser. Uh, let's go to our browser. I'm using the Google Chrome. Uh, and so guys, uh, once your browser is open, then I uh, just type what? Just type www.python.python.org www.python.org then I click enter uh, and so guys uh, once uh, it's open then uh, you're going to click on the you know downloads I actually are going to have on the download then I choose your you know platform the platform that you're using like uh, if it's Windows for me I'm using Windows here but you can select also Mac you can also select you know other platforms too but for me let me choose uh, for Windows and then I'm going to click on the uh, this one this is the latest part you know version of the Python let me click on, on this one and then I guess I click on the start download and then I uh, allow it to download and I guess uh, once it has downloaded then I click open and so guys uh, once uh, this uh, Python installation wizard opens then uh, ensure first of all you click on this uh, checkbox here ensure that you click on uh, add Python 3 to path ensure that you click on this checkbox and then I do what uh, click Click here, then allow it to install. Uh, and so, guys, uh, once it has completed to install, you can as well click on this one, click on this one, and then allow it. Uh, and so, guys, uh, once uh, Python is installed in your operating system, 
and then uh, the next thing now is to download the IDE <coughs> the integrated development environment for Python of which you are going to use a uh, PyCharm so let me just open another tab here and then I do it just write uh, www.jetbrains uh, you know dot com then a fast slash then I write a uh, PyCharm then write a uh, PyCharm just write a uh, PyCharm and then I do it a uh, click and uh, and so guys uh, once uh, this page opens then uh, you're going to select first of all the you know the operating system you're using for mine is windows uh, if it's mac then i select mac linux and then i guess that uh, what you can see here we have the professional one and then we have the community one so uh, this uh, professional one is a paid uh, version but uh, let us download what let us download this one for community this one is free then i click on the download button here and then uh, let me download it uh, and so guys uh, once it has completed downloading then i click on open and then i click next here click next again i click next uh, and then i guess in this page you can click on these uh, check boxes you can uh, select th these uh, check boxes and then i uh, do it also select this one though it will need uh, to restart your machine then i do it click next and then i uh, click install and then allow it to install okay so once uh, PyCharm has completed uh, being installed then uh, you can uh, reboot your mm -hmm. machine or you can reboot it later so um, let me reboot it later but now let me click on the finish here and so guess uh, open your PyCharm open your PyCharm I guess I click on the I confirm that I've read and accepted the terms of the uh, you know, user agreement then I click continue you can select here what you want but uh, for me let me click on the send an anonymous you know, st statistics and then uh, allow it to load and then i guess uh, once it's open then uh, you can uh, create a new project here new project click on it uh, you can rename the project like uh, let me say uh, you can uh, rename here your project like let me say then, uh, let me say <coughs> uh, let me give it any name like uh, let me say just uh, test for testing and then uh, guys uh, what is uh, here the interpreter you can select i'm using python 3 uh, for example if you have python 2 but the, you know the previous version of the python then you can select what you want but uh, for me i'm, I'm using what uh, this one uh, python uh, 3 so once everything is okay then i click uh, create so once it's open then i click on this one the, this project of yours here then i right click and then i click on the select uh, actually new and then I click on the Python file here and then I give it a name like uh, let me just uh, give it uh, app let me just say app then I do it uh, create a Python file and so guys I want us to talk about uh, the Python syntax and uh, before I do anything let me try to write here a uh, first you know Python program here so let me say print let me say print and then uh, do it. I uh, click open and close the bracket, the normal bracket. And then uh, you can use a two or a double quotation mark. Let me use a uh, you know double quotation mark. And then uh, here let me type in my website. Like uh, let me say print my website. Like it is www dot nametech dot com. By the way, guys, uh, here in this website you are teaching this kind of programming courses. Also Python, we have it there. And so guys once you uh, finish you know typing in then i click on the run here click on the run and then i go to run here click on the run and then i select uh, you know the you know the, your project it is up here let me choose up and then uh, here at the bottom guys at this terminal you can see that uh, it has printed what it has printed uh, you know uh, www.nametech.com then I guess uh, I want us to talk about uh, the Python indentation. So basically, the Python indentation refers to the space at the beginning of a uh, code of line. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, where in other programming languages the indentation in code is for you know for, uh, readability only. Uh, the indentation in Python is uh, you know very very important. And then I want us to write here an example. Like, uh, uh, let me use an example here. Let me use a uh, uh, if. If remember that uh, if is a preserved keyword in Python, so let me say if uh, let me say ten, uh, ten uh, is greater than uh, ten is greater than uh, five, then ten is greater than five. 
Then I also always remember to close this statement with the with the, with the colon with the colon. And then uh, the indentation this is what I'm talking about. The indentation is the space between the edge here to the end of the line and your first you know, program here where you're going to write your first code. So this is the space, this is the indentation that I'm talking about. So like uh, let me say print. Let me say print. Uh, let me print uh, what? Let me say first of all open and uh, close uh, the quotation mark. And then uh, let me say a uh, five. Let me say five. A uh, five is what? Five, actually ten. Let me say ten. Let me say ten is greater. Ten is greater than than five. Ten is greater than five. Okay, so once you're done, uh, then I click on the run here. Click on the run. And then I guess run up, but you can always see that we have the shortcut which is a shift plus F10 here. But I click on the run up, and then I guess you can see here at the terminal we see that a 10 is uh, you know greater than 5. Uh, and then I guess uh, let's now try the one with an error. Let's remove the indentation here so that you can see uh, the error in our in our terminal here. So let me, let me remove the indentation here. And then uh, you remember the shortcut shift then a plus F10 to you know run your your programs shift plus F10. So guys, you can see that uh, it brings out an error in the line two here, and then you can see the error here. They say that the uh, indentation error here. So uh, expected an indentation block after if statement on line one. So basically, guys, you need to consider that uh, Python, uh, you know, indentation is very very important in Python. I guess uh, the last thing that I want to show you in this introduction video is the Python com you know, comments. And uh, basically the comments, they just you know, help uh, you know, developers to explain uh, Python codes. You know, comments can be used to make the code more readable you know, and uh, they prevent you know, execu execution when testing a code. Like uh, let me use an example. Remember that we use a hash to declare a comment. Let, let me write a hash here. Uh, let me write a hash and then uh, let me say what let me say uh, let me say this uh, this uh, program or uh, this statement this statement has has an error has an error and then I guess uh, let me run you can re you remember the shortcut to run shift and then a plus uh, F10 I guess you can see that uh, uh, the it's not you know being printed in the terminal here so let me let me try to remove uh, let me try to add the indentation here at uh, this second line here let me try to add the indentation here and then uh, guys uh, let me try to, to do it let me try to you know print out this uh, you know uh, program and see so click on shift then uh, f10 and then uh, guys you can see that it, it prints out a uh, 10 is greater than 5 but it does not print out it does not print this uh, comment here and uh, basically now guys you understand that uh, the comment they just you know uh, make the code more readable and uh, by the way it prevents execution of uh, you know of your calls to the terminal and i guess uh, basically uh, this is what i wanted to show you in this first video i don't want to complicate uh, things here and uh, the next upload will, it will, will be handling uh, python variables uh, but i uh, guess uh, for now i really appreciate you for your time and I guess uh, if you find that uh, the video has been of help to you, please consider subscribing. And uh, you can as well share to your friends so that uh, we may move together. And so guys, I uh, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you later.